Today, we're going to look at how to build a very simple flowchart. One that's just going to be a simple series of steps with no conditional branching, no looping, or anything like that. So let's take a look at how we're going to do it inside of our Lucid app chart. And I come over here to a blank document that I've already got set up. I've already got my flowchart symbols on my left hand side. And so how am I going to start something? Well, if I've never built this before, there's a couple things you need to know. First is you always have to have terminators. In fact, we're going to need two of them. We're going to only start with one and we're going to add the second later. So I'm going to come over here to my flowchart. The oval is my terminator shape. I just click and drag that like that. Now terminators denote where something ends. Okay, so it also designates therefore a beginning because there's nothing beyond it. So in this terminator to let people know that this is where I'm going to start, I'm actually going to double click inside of it and type start, just like you see there. So I always start with start. It always makes it easy to find where am I going to start from and how am I going to follow to my next step. Now, what is that next step? Well, if you spent any time programming, you know we always write our first application called Hello World. It's a simple way just to make sure we know what we're doing with the application. Let's do that here. To do that, we're going to use a data input output box. In flowcharts, this is shown as a parallelogram. So I'm going to come right here to flowchart. If I hover over it, you're going to notice it says data IO. I'm going to click and I'm just going to drop this right underneath my start terminator. I want to print something out. So this is output. So I'm going to double click on it and say print. Hello world. Now, how do I get from start to hello world? Well, if you notice when I hover over start, I see four little circles, top, bottom, left, and right. These allow me to connect one shape to the next. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to simply hover over start, click on the bottom circle, drag. Notice that now I have circles that are connecting me to any other shape. Right now I only have one, so let's make it easy. And I'm going to connect the circle on the bottom of my start terminator to the circle on the top of my data IO. This is a very simple way to connect these two elements. And when I'm defining how is this application going to work, I'm going to say, I'm going to start at the top, follow my flow line. I'm going to print hello world, and then I can follow the next flow line, the next one and the next one. All right. But we said this was going to be a simple application. All we're going to simulate is printing hello world. I've done that. So what now? Am I done? No. Remember, I said we need two terminators, one at the beginning a start, and then one when we're done, an end. So I can come back over my flowchart symbols, click my terminator, drag it underneath my print hello world, double click on it. This is my end. And now once again, I'm going to connect hello world to end. I always start from where I'm going to where I'm going to. And I have my arrow. So now I start, I print hello world, and then I end. A good flow chart will always have one start and one end. We don't want to have three or four places to start, a half dozen different places to end. It's very difficult to debug. People will sometimes write code like this, and we tend to hate that code. We want our code nice and simple. It's easy with something simple like this. We'll have to work at it, but we can make it work even for more complicated applications. This is a nice, simple example just to get us started. And that's what Hello World is all about, no matter what language you use it in. It's all about, can I get started? I can. Now, what can I do with it? If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and there'll be a video popping up with a link to show you something else that we can do using this type of tool.